Alright guys, Scific back again with another pickups video. Uh, this is uh, some pickups that I did at the local Goodwill. Uh, let's take a look and see. So I walked into the Goodwill and headed back down to the CD section where I found these. Uh, Mad Dog McCree. Now this one didn't have the CD, but the gentleman still let me keep the case. Uh, wasn't there. Must have been donated uh, along with the rest of the pile. Uh, a sealed CDI movie, which is Star Trek II: The Wrath of Khan. Uh, and this one is sealed. At one point, it was 24 bucks. It's sealed, never used. Uh, a little devil. This one has a sleeve, as you can see. And uh, game and everything was there. Came with ABC Sports Palm Springs Open. Uh, Tetris, Dragon's Lair, Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp, and Space Ace. And these were all $2.99. So I started thinking, well, you know what, if somebody donated all these games to the Goodwill, maybe they donated the system as well. So I started walking around you know, where they have all the VCRs and all the rest of the junk and stuff. And uh, unfortunately was unable to find any system or any controllers or other accessories. So I figured, uh, you know, I'll just pick these up. Maybe someone out there on YouTube will want to trade for them or, you know, have more interest than I do. Um, so as I continued, uh, I ended up paying for the games. Uh, my girlfriend was still looking around, decided to kind of still walk the store. And uh, she was in the women's section and there was some kids clothes on some rack. And I look and right under there were a bunch of old typewriters and stuff. So I'm thinking to myself, well, let me see what else is over here. And I start kind of going through some of the stuff. And in between two old, like, Smith Corona style electric typewriters was this. I'm going to have to put this down for a second so you guys can see because this thing is huge. Okay, as you can see, it's a huge bag. And let's pull this monster out. And there we are. Okay, hopefully you can see there. It's a uh, Magnavox CDI system. And it looks to be in excellent condition. You got an input here, you got the power on and off there. Um, the little screen on here, it's, it's, it's clean, there's no scratches or scuffs. Uh, there's an open and close button here. And all taped up, as you can see, let me get some light over here is the whole setup. You got the uh, control here with the little thing here, the little uh, joystick, the thumb joystick. You got the uh, controller here, one, three buttons. You got the AV and power cords in here. And behind all this stuff is a gun. And all this was picked up for, uh, I thought it was a little steep, but uh, it was 49 bucks. And I've never seen one of these out in the wild, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to grab it. It was my birthday this weekend, figured I'd treat myself to something crazy, and this is pretty crazy. So we got a CDI system here, it's the Magnavox, and I believe it's the CDI 200. I'm going to power this bad boy up and see if it still works. I know these have that uh, battery, internal battery problem. After about 10 years, the battery dies out and you got to replace it. Um, but it just goes to show you if you guys ever see a bunch of games, you know, and back there, you know, you figure if someone donated all these games, they probably donated the system as well, and it looks like someone actually did, so it paid off to look and stuff. So, um, uh, like I said, it came complete gun, uh, the controller, the the game controller, um, wires, the gun. Uh, let's have a look at the back real quickly. Let's still have a look here. Uh, it says here, CDI Express, Magnavox CDI Interactive, very s says smart, very smart. Got the power here, another input jack, the remote in, video out, uh, serial number, uh, let's see here, uh, red and left audio, looks like the RF outs and stuff like that. Manufactured 1993. I don't know if you could see that there or not. And what's cool about it, it has the digital video cartridge for Philips CDI players, which is what enables you to watch those movies. So that's probably why that movie was included in there. Maybe somebody was using it for games and uh, maybe bought a movie towards the end of its life. Maybe this thing doesn't even work and uh, maybe that's why that movie's not opened. Or I'm not sure, but I'll have to power this bad boy up and maybe do an update later. So really, really cool. Like I said, there's the 
joystick, a little dusty from the top, but wow, pays to look out, and uh, it's a pretty cool little thing to add to my collection. Um, like I said, I'll uh, plug it in, test it out, make sure it works. I'll post a video with some gameplay or video player, whatever these things are. A lot of them, they're, like, they're just kind of like little, um, you know, kind of movie-based games and stuff like that. Uh, as you can see there, pretty cool though. Uh, Tetris here, some weird uh, pictures in the back. Uh, golf game, Little Devil. I'm not sure what that is. Movie, sealed. Pretty cool. And I'm, what I'm thinking is the reason why this game is empty. Could it be that maybe the person who donated this uh, game or this whole thing left the game in here? So that's another reason why I can't wait to pop this open. Um, like I said, hopefully that game will, hopefully not, I heard this game sucks, but maybe that game will be in here to add to this little collection here. So um, I'll post an update, I'll post this video, um, I have some other stuff I've picked up, I'll see if, uh, maybe I'll do another video after this one. So uh, once again, this is Cyphic with another Goodwill find, a Goodwill pickup. And, uh, like I said, uh, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, too, um, like I said, I'm more into collecting the systems, the games that I'm more willing to part with, so if any of these are of interest to any of you guys out there, hit me up, if want to do some trades for something else, uh, let me know. Alright, man. Uh, oh, another thing, too, is, um, been totally digging, uh, old school NYC Gamers videos. You got an awesome channel. Keep posting those videos, man. They keep me, uh, <laughs> they keep me entertained at work when it's freaking boring as hell. So, uh, shout out to old school NYC Gamer for posting some really, really cool videos and stuff and, um, uh, keeping the retro scene alive and, you know, saving this stuff from the junkyards. <laughs> Alright, guys, this is Cyphic signing out once again. Late.